Hi, I'm Ross Williams and I'm here to explain to you everything you need to know about our Mac 1 foil. Uh, basically, uh, our GA Mac 1 foil, uh, it comes with a 90 centimeter mast. There's no options to have shorter or longer. Um, it's kind of, it's a, it's a carbon compound mast, so it's light and it's super strong. It's a stiffer mast than what you'd find on a uh, hybrid foil. It basically comes with either a built-in um, US box uh, plate system, or you could buy it as with a deep tuttle. And now the deep tuttle version has the option to buy an add-on that allows you to put a plate system on if you so need it. Uh, what I really like about using a Mac 1 as opposed to using uh, the hybrid is the everything's a little bit uh, more refined and I mean that by like the connection between the mast and the fuselage and the mast and your board uh, they're much more uh, well connected there's less um, uh, play in the system so what you get is a very nice and uh, super crisp feeling when you're riding these versions okay so this is your mast and uh, yep, you have a nice, easy to use system to plug it into the fuselage. The Mac 1 comes with uh, two optional lengths of fuselage, as far as I'm aware at the moment. Um, basically, it comes with a standard 85 centimeter one. And now this is probably better used for uh, windsurf foiling, but also is a good way if you've bought uh, the Mac 1 to be a windsurf foil. To, and you want to get into wing foil, foiling, it's a good, uh, it's a good learning uh, fuselage for also wing foiling. And then you have the shorter option, which is again a 72 centimeter um, um, length fuselage. And this is kind of your wing foiling option. So quite basic in, in like just having two different uh, fuselages. Uh, and as I said before, like uh, all of the GA foils, all of them in the range, they, every single rear wing and every single front wing from the free range to the high performance to any of the back wings, they are all interchangeable. So any foil that you buy, you can interchange, you can play with it as you want. So basically uh, you can fit everything to everything. Uh, so if I was to talk about the Mac 1 as a windsurf foil option, I would be using it with the 85 centimeter fuselage. And if I was a beginner uh, or less experienced foiler, then I'd probably opt to use a 1500 or a 1200 uh, three front wing along with the standard back wing um, that comes with it, which is the 350 size. Uh, <coughs> Now, if I was, uh, if I got into windsurf foiling and I really enjoyed it and I wanted something to make my setup a bit more advanced, we actually have the FR range of, of uh, foils that can fit the 85 length fuselage. And these are really nice, uh, more advanced, more high aspect versions, full carbon compound. And these, Again, a super nice, lighter, um, more high aspect versions. And uh, you'll definitely notice a difference in performance from putting one of these on. Again, because they're slightly smaller as well. Um, they're slightly smaller than like the standard um, sizes that come along with the free range. So like the smallest one in the free range is a 900. The biggest one in the FR range is an 850. So uh, definitely you want to be a more advanced, more accomplished uh, windsurf foiler before getting these, but they're very good. They come in a 850 and a 650 size and there's a noticeable, um, um, noticeable uh, performance increase when you're jumping to these. So definitely something that you might want to get into. Uh, also, you have the rear wing, which is a 300, which is again smaller, less lift, but uh, greater performance. And uh, yeah, so next thing, um, I actually kind of like using the Mac 1 um, for wing foiling as I'm a more advanced rider uh, and I'm finding myself going out in, uh, 
uh, I want to have a, like a really nice connection between my board, my mast and uh, the fuselage and the foils. So the Mac one just offers me that more together feeling when I'm riding, uh, which is really nice, really direct, really stable. And uh, I would be using with the Mac one, I would be using the 72 centimeter fuselage. And then with the 72 meter fuselage, I'll be using our HP Performance uh, front wings. So these are these ones, which I spoke about in our uh, hybrid um, video. So the HPs, they're, they're, they're basically a little bit, they're considered to be maybe a mid-range, high, not a high aspect, but not a low aspect foil, uh, somewhere in the middle. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. There's the stability in the, in the uh, in the in the span of the of the foil but there's also uh the performance in its profile and the characteristics that uh what you're using it for so um if i was uh wing foiling and i'm using the mac one i'm probably going to be at a more advanced level so jumping straight to the hps uh the hp range comes in uh, 1750, a 1450, and an 1150. I use all the range, but obviously the 1750 uh, offers more lift for lighter winds, and the 1150 is for the stronger winds. Most of the time, I'm finding myself when I'm using like a 52 or a 42 air wing, I'm using the 1450. It's only at other ends of the uh, condition spectrum that I'm find that I'm jumping to either an 1150 or a 1750 uh, so and that tends to be with smaller or larger wings so yeah 15 the 1450s is tends to be my my go-to one but um, also you can experiment with the back wings as well if you're interchanging and you've already got yourself the HR wings you can probably interchange using a a hybrid the 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 HP front foil or you could probably use the use the uh, FR backwing 300 that just would give you a little bit more performance orientated ride uh, you might need to angle the rear wing and these uh, all the the foil setups they all come with the with a pack of shims now the shim allows you to angle the forward the the leading edge of the of the of the rear wing and to doing so creates more lift in the front or more front foot pressure so if you basically if you find that you're riding and your board feels like it the nose is is pointing down a little bit, bit more you might want to angle the back uh, foil and then that will bring it up and make it more balanced so there's lots of different options um, to to play around with like I said like we have a, like a full range of different types of foils again like the Mac one the Mac one is a more advanced uh, foil uh, it, which also again it kind of shows it translates into a higher price but what you do get is a uh, more connected more a lighter stiffer feeling uh, performing uh, foil so uh, guys that have had a started on a hybrid foil and then they're looking hey you know what I want to upgrade then you can jump to a Mac one and then for whatever sport that you're you're doing uh, you have the components that you can still play around with and change over. So that basically sums up what the Mac One foil is. It's again, it's a it's a foil that you can use for windsurfing, or for wing foiling, or for for sup foiling, uh, pretty much for anything. And then you have your ranges of foils that you can you can interchange. So the FR is the more advanced windsurf foiling. The HP is like your advanced uh, wing foiling and, uh, and then your free range is kind of your entry level range of foils. So you can choose and you can interchange anything that you need. And that is your Mac 1.